Fortunate news here, when it comes to murders in Tulsa, 2017 is picking up right where 2016 left off. After a record number of homicides last year, we've seen five murders in the first few weeks of the new year. Two Works For You reporter Brian Miller is live with what is and what is not being done to curb the problem. All right, well, from a police perspective, the number of murders we've had in Tulsa since the start of 2016, 87 can be staggering, but it's what those murders are creating. Conversation in all corners of the city about what needs to be done to stop the violence moving forward. When it comes to reducing the number of killings in our city, some say talk is cheap. It's time to think outside of the box. We have to identify those individuals. We have to talk to those individuals. We have to confront those in individuals. We have to become the solution. And until we overcome the fear, there will not be a solution. This type of activity will continue on. Minister Alvin Muhammad advocates approaching people who are known troublemakers and let them know violent behavior won't be tolerated where you live. And while he admits that could be dangerous, there is strength in numbers. We have to come out and, and take charge of our communities. We have to police our own community. If we started doing looking at the numbers in that perspective, then, then it'd be easily to get discouraged just a little bit. Detective Dave Walker says he's noticed some trends during his 35 years in law enforcement. And now that generation we lost in the 80s are now grandparents to the ones that are committing the crimes now. Uh, gosh, you know, I don't know how you change that other than those people having children need to take care of the children. While both of these men say the problem of violence can't be solved by the government or by passing more laws, it all comes down to responsibility. See, the solution is not in what's, who, uh, who comes from downtown. The solution comes from within, within the community. We have to be involved in what's going on. We have to open our eyes. We got to overcome fear. And until people are no longer afraid to take their neighborhoods back, these scenes could become all too familiar. And so far, the city's five homicides this year are unsolved. Now, Detective Dave Walker says the law of averages usually work things out and they'll even themselves out over the year. Of course, time will tell if that's the case here in 2017. Reporting live in Tulsa, Brian Miller, Two Works For You.